Welcome back everybody. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment if uh, you wanna give me a couple of ideas for new videos that you want me to make. Um, today, we are going to go over the free agent linebackers, inside linebackers specifically, that we should be targeting, or all the options. Um, there are a couple of them that I think are out there that we could use to have on our team. Um, honestly, the, the thing that we need right now is we need a pass coverage linebacker because the way that Vic Fangio runs his defense, you need a guy that can cover the middle of the field and is able to use instincts and you know football logic and football IQ to cover certain people coming across the field. I think kind of where we suffered some, not sometimes, actually a lot of the time, is that our linebackers really couldn't cover anyone. They were all run stuffers, and when it came to coverage, they got beat a lot by tight ends or running backs or whatever it was. And I think uh, in the free agency, honestly, in the draft, we can get somebody, but I think we do need to target someone in free agency for the middle linebacker position. We need someone that has that like experience or has that, that knowledge of the game that is going to allow us to play certain coverages with Big Fangio's defense. Number one is going to be a pipe dream. I don't think we're going to get him, um, but I don't know if he's going back to the Steelers. Uh, We'll see what happens. He's a little bit disgruntled, so we're going to try and find out what's going on with him. But Devin Bush. Devin Bush is going to be a guy. He's a young dude. He's really, you know, he, he's been pretty solid for the past couple of seasons. I'll put his stats up here. But, yeah, I mean, the guy is a really, really good linebacker, good young linebacker. Uh, we probably have to pay a lot of money for him. But I think, you know, he would be a guy that you can grow with. He would be the optimal option at this position right now. But like I said, it's a pipe dream because I think we have a lot of holes on this team that we need to fix, and I think he would cost a lot of money. Um, but we'll see. You know, you never know. And I also don't know if the Pitt Pittsburgh Steelers are, are really going to uh, allow him to leave in free agency. I'm not sure about that. I don't know what's going on. I just know he's disgruntled. But that would be the pipe dream is Devin Bush. The real dream and the guy that I th there's there's goods and bads with him because um, of course when age hits you it, it is a tough thing to kind of just look aside but Levante David he's been on the Buccaneers for a while and he's he's just a really really overall great great linebacker and what I think is he could teach all the linebackers in our team basically the, the IQ that he has for the game the guy's been really, really great throughout his whole entire career. Um, great in pass coverage, great in run stopping, great like instincts, great, great everything. Um, the only problem with him is that he is 32, I believe, so he's starting to get up there in years, which unfortunately the athleticism starts to decline a little bit when you get to that point in your career. So, like I said, uh, Levante David, really, really solid linebacker. I think he could really step this team up and we could really build, you know, linebacking core around him for the next couple of years and then have someone fill his shoes once he retires. This is a guy that's, I, I, it's tough, but I, I don't, he, he's going to cost a lot of money. Tremaine Edmonds, I'm not sure about him. He's, he's, he's really good, but he's just confusing because you don't know where he, what, what, you don't know the ceiling on this guy so it's kind of tough to kind of judge where you're going to see him he's been pretty stout for his last couple of years but you know honestly Matt Milano has has really been doing a little better than him and you know if that's the case and he hasn't really lived up to that first round pedigree uh but I think the big issue with him is you're gonna have to pay him a lot of money he's gonna be like probably a 50 million dollar four year something like that maybe even more um and honestly, I think maybe we could turn him into something a little different, but I think he has suffered in coverage a couple of times throughout the year, and I think, you know, it would be a really good pickup, but I think he's going to cost a lot of money. My favorite options are actually two different ones, and I just want to see which one goes where. Uh, 
both the Cleveland Browns linebackers. Uh, Deion Jones or Anthony Walker Jr. I think Anthony Walker Jr. is going to stay with Cleveland so that, uh, you know, obviously, if I were to put it in my own eyes, if Anthony Walker is available, I'd get him. I think he's a really, really good young, younger linebacker in this league. Um, but I think they're going to actually let go of Deion Jones. And if they do, because again, they have the Deshaun Watson contract, you, you can't hold a lot of these people, you know, for these big contracts. You can't really do that. So Deion Jones, again, another roller coaster, but he's going to cost significantly less than some of the other linebackers in this free agency. And he could put us around like $4 million a year, you know, maybe a four year, 20 something million dollar contract. And he could really revive his uh, career in Miami. I mean, this would be my pick for the linebacker if we could get him. When he was with the Falcons, he was a Pro Bowl talent. And he really was looking on the up and up. He had a little bit of a down year. Um, but I, I just, I think it also, you know, you got to understand like coaching staffs and things like that. It might not work the same with different people. So I think if you can bring Deion Jones here for the price tag that he's going to be at, he is, he is a Pro Bowl talent type linebacker that you can bring in, teach what you need to teach him, and allow him to grow under Vic Fangio and, and the scheming. And we could have a linebacker for the next five years. The guy used to look like he was going to be one of the best linebackers in the league. Now he's, he's still good. You know, It's not like I'm taking away that he's not good. But he still has the potential that he could become a Pro Bowl linebacker. And we could teach him all the traits to do that. With a new defensive coordinator, you can allow guys to come in and you'll be able to train them to be their very best. That's what I think Vic Fangio is going to do with a lot of these defensive players. He's going to come in and teach them things that the old defensive coordinators could not teach them that will allow him to grow, will allow all the players to grow. Um, but, yeah, if I were going to do anybody, Deion Jones is my guy. I, I think he's the guy that we need to target in the offseason. Levante David is great, too, but he's going to cost a crap ton. So Deion Jones would be a great linebacker addition on this team and I think that's who we need to target in free agency you know if you know one of the two I'm, I'm guessing it's Deion Jones and those are going to be the free agent targets that I think we need to have for the linebacker position now as always I hope you have a great rest of your day leave a comment down below if there's somebody that I missed or something like that but as always fins up peace